Oscar Michaud was born on January 2nd, 1884 in Metropolis, Illinois to former slaves who had been freed following the Civil War. Growing up as one of 13 children in a family that valued education and hard work, Michelle experienced a blend of both adversity and inspiration. His early life in rural Illinois gave him a strong work ethic, yet he constantly encountered systemic racism that fueled his ambition and dreams for a better world. In his 20s, Michelle moved west to South Dakota to try his hand at homesteading. This experience had a significant impact on his life. The isolated prairie landscape allowed Michelle to reflect deeply on challenges faced by black Americans and gave him inspiration for his first novel, The Conquest, the story of a Negro pioneer, published in 1913. In the novel, he shared the harsh realities and the resilience required of black homesteaders in America. The Conquest is both a testament to Michelle's courage and a critique of the obstacles faced by black Americans. His journey as a homesteader played a central role in shaping his perspective on independence and self-determination, which would later influence his filmmaking career. Driven by the success of his book, Michel launched a publishing company to distribute his works independently. This venture gave him valuable business experience and introduced him to a world of self-promotion and networking. Michelle's storytelling gained him a following and he was determined to go beyond books to reach a wider audience through film. In 1918, Michelle made his first film, The Homesteader, adapted from his novel. It marked the beginning of his journey as a filmmaker and established him as a pioneer in the industry. Michelle worked outside Hollywood, where mainstream studios were unwilling to support black filmmakers. Instead, he used independent production companies and innovative distribution strategies to showcase his films in black communities across the U.S., creating a network of support that allowed him to tell stories rarely seen on screen. Michelle went on to direct over 40 films during his career, all of which portrayed complex black American characters and touched on social issues like racism, class, and injustice. Among his most significant works are Within Our Gates, 1920, and Body and Soul, 1925. Within Our Gates, Michelle's second film, is perhaps one of his most impactful works. It was a response to D.W. Griffith's controversial film, The Birth of a Nation, which glorified the Ku Klux Klan and promoted racist stereotypes. Michelle countered this by portraying the realities of Black American life highlighting themes of poverty, discrimination, and systemic violence. The film follows a teacher's journey to raise money for a school for black children, and it does not shy away from depicting the harsh realities of lynching, prejudice, and betrayal. Within Our Gates was one of the earliest films to openly criticize racism in the U.S., making it a revolutionary piece for its time. Body and Soul is another remarkable film in Michelle's career. This movie stars Paul Robeson in his first film role, portraying a dual character as both a preacher and a criminal. The film's portrayal of corruption within the church, which Michelle saw as a harmful influence in some black communities, sparked controversy, but also highlighted his courage to tackle sensitive and controversial issues. Body and Soul not only displayed Michelle's storytelling prowess, but also his ability to cast powerful black actors, giving them opportunities that were rare in Hollywood at the time. Michelle's contribution to film goes beyond the stories he told. He laid the groundwork for black cinema and independent filmmaking. Michelle was a visionary who believed in creating an authentic representation of black life, even if it meant working outside the system. His films were unapologetic, thought-provoking, and at times provocative, challenging stereotypes and showcasing the diverse experiences of Black Americans. Michelle's tenacity in an industry that denied him access speaks volumes about his influence and commitment to art and truth. Through his works, Michelle helped to pave the way for filmmakers like Spike Lee, John Singleton, 
and Ava DuVernay, all of whom cite Michelle's works as foundational in portraying Black American stories in a nuanced and impactful manner. Michelle's independent spirit inspired a new generation of Black filmmakers to tell their own story, free from the constraints of Hollywood's biased gaze. His success as a Black filmmaker who owned his production company was virtually unheard of at the time, making him a powerful example of resilience and self-reliance. As Michel grew older, he continued to make films but faced financial struggle and the challenges of an ever-changing film industry. Despite these obstacles, he worked tirelessly to complete his projects, driven by his passion for storytelling and his commitment to representing Black life on the screen. Michelle passed away on March 25th, 1951 in Charlotte, North Carolina, leaving behind a rich legacy and an indelible mark on cinema. In recognition of his pioneering role, Michelle received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1987, and the Directors Guild of America honored him with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Some even claim that the Oscar, the prestigious Academy Award, was named after him, though there's no historical evidence to back this theory. Oscar Michelle was remembered as a trailblazer who opened doors for black filmmakers and pushed the boundaries of what cinema could be. He is the grandfather of black cinema, a man who fought against adversity and prejudice to tell the stories he believed needed to be told.